Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Glitchy Skies. It is an idea I had a little while ago. Basically, I am here in the void. As you can see, it's complete blue void on a tree. Yeah, it's uh, kind of like um, Skyblock or whatever. Agrarian Skies, those kind of things. Yes. So I was watching a couple of videos. Um, let's see. Good is playing Agrarian Skies. He's on like episode 150 of his series. Zog, I got wood, is playing Skyblock. And uh, Vintage Beef, Paws, and Etho are playing, I think it's Sky Factory. I think that's what it was. And I got I was watching his videos. And just initially I was just watching it to get ideas. So basically ideas for the Glitchcraft server. Whoop. And I was as I kept watching it as he was making things, I w I started thinking can I do this? Like, we have that, we have that, we have that, and so on and so forth. I just kept thinking, you know, we have all of these things in our mod pack. It might be a little interesting to actually try to make, like, agrarian skies or whatever in the Glitchcraft mod pack. Whoa. Ooh. I wonder if this is a smart idea. This is probably not a smart idea. I bet you... If I shift click, will I fall off? I hope not. Hmm. This might have been a bad idea. Putting these down like this. I put them down like this because I don't want mobs to spawn. And they won't spawn on the bottom half slab. And I don't want them to spawn until I, at least I get torches. And that takes a little while. And it just occurred to me, and I mean just occurred to me, that it's very possible, if not probable, that I'll just basically fall off. And I don't want to find out the hard way. I don't want to try it and find out. Okay, so for the most part, this is 100% Glitchcraft mod pack. Nothing changed, no config changed. There is one exception, and that is for this kind of thing. So basically right now, if I was just playing regular Glitchcraft, I'd be sitting here twiddling my thumbs. But I, there's a mod that you can get that lets you dance, basically. That's what it's supposed to be. And it bone meals the saplings. So eventually, come on. There we go. It will grow into an actual tree. Wee. And always, always, always get more saplings than you drop off. That starts to be very, very important really early on. Come on, give me another sapling. Uh, fine, we'll do it the easy way. So I tried this out before. Just as a test, just to see if it was even theoretically possible to do this. I mean... This mod, our Glitchcraft is not designed for this kind of thing. It's designed to be played much like you play regular Minecraft, where you go mining, you build stuff, and so on and so forth. No, I just need one stack of that for right now. Boop, 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 boop. So I was very curious to see if it was even theoretically possible to do this. If I could do this. So I tested it out real quick, just on another world that I created. And I got an axe, an actual functional axe. And that's where I stopped, because I figured, you know what? I've got an axe. That means this will probably work. And I want to record it. Though it's going to be really interesting if I try it and find out that uh, it totally does not work that way. <laughs> Uh, if I get pretty far on and suddenly realize that I need a thing that I can't get because it's not, you know, I have to actually go find it. 
But, you know, with all the stuff that I've learned in the Glitchcraft server and getting infinite supplies there, I don't think that's going to happen. I think this is going to work. I think this is going to work well. There's just going to be a lot of grindy bits, and it's sleep time. Well, I can't sleep because I don't have... Uh, wool to make a bed. So it's, it's three on that side. So let's put a third one on this side. Oh, nope. That's not where I wanted it. Crap, crap, crap. Hmm. Well, no. I got to pop this because I don't want to... Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Shit. Oh, well. I have infinite wood now. Or at least a way to get lots and lots and lots of wood. And my first goal, as you can see, is to spread out a little bit in a way that I can at least um, yeah, so I so I don't have to worry about uh, saplings and apples and such falling off of the edge here. Oh, and now I'm gonna wonder, so far, I haven't lost any food. And I'm mildly curious if that's going to happen or if that is a artifact from the way I created this world here. I have cheats disabled. Oh, I should probably actually test that. Boop. Yes, okay, so cheats are disabled. So any eye is going to do what I expect it to do, which is good. Prefer that. Yeah, when I was playing with it before, I had cheats enabled so I could set up the void world. But uh, NEI wouldn't go into recipe mode. It absolutely refused to go into recipe, po recipe mode. I would set it, and it wouldn't do anything. You know, I would close out, and I could still cheat, and I didn't want that at all. So I recreated this world um, without cheat mode, which you really just kind of have to connect to land to enable cheat mode, but mm, that's how I did it. Whee. All right, so we're up to 10 oak saplings. And the first thing I want to do... Do I need any oak wood for anything? No, I don't think so. Whoop. Is create a barrel. So oak barrel. Plunk. Okay, I have to fix that later. Twerk. Here we go. <laughs> You'll learn real quick playing this, playing with that mo particular mod, if your uh, sticky keys are enabled or not. Boop, boop. Okay, so what the barrel can do is you put a bunch of plant material in it, and it will compost into dirt. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was definitely kind of fun when I started thinking about this idea. It's like, can we do this? You know, could I possibly actually do this? And I started thinking about it, uh, and I recognized a lot of the stuff that was being used as stuff that I had seen in NEI, but I had never used for anything because I didn't know what it was for. So, yeah, I figured this ought to be fairly interesting to see if we can figure out. Yay, apples. I still haven't lost any hunger. Oh, yeah, I was pointing that out. I, uh, when I tested this before, just, you know, for shits and giggles, tested it out, I never got hungry. And I was very, very confused about that. Boop. Set a chest there. Throw a few saplings in there. Uh, silkworms. Put my books in there that I'm not going to use for a while. And my apples until if I get hungry. Boop. And I found out real quick that this is pretty much what I spend a lot of my time doing is punching trees. Because I can't make an axe. Yeah, that's one thing that I learned in the previous testing, is that I can't make an axe. 
in this in this game. We have the Iguana, Iguana Tweaks mod and uh, vanilla tools don't work. They don't do anything. the hell do I hear? Oh, 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 it's nothing in the game. I'm sitting here thinking, why the hell do I hear, like, weird sounds and such? At first, I thought it was, like, a zombie or something. No, it's, it's, um, the guy across the street, he's weed-whacking his yard, and, uh, I can, I can hear, uh, him hitting, like, his fence. So, I thought that was just really weird. So was I saying anything interesting? I'm worried about the food situation. I don't want to, you know, not have like infinite food. I mean, that's not a big thing, I guess, because I'm doing pretty good when it comes to apples. So I'd be fine one way or the other. But I don't want to cheat. And I didn't get any saplings from that. Hmm. That's not good. I got to make another crook. Now, the crook is from X Nilo, which is uh, a lot of mods or a lot of tools that I'm going to be using is from X Nilo. But what it does is it makes it more likely to get saplings. It's also faster to punch the leaves. And you can get silkworms, which I'll show off here momentarily. What I should, what I will do, yeah, this will be what I'll do after I finish tearing down this tree, is I will expand this area, get a second tree going, a second area for a tree anyways, and then I'll use the silkworm. And it just takes so long to punch these things. I really wish I could make a vanilla axe, because I'd have a wooden axe by now if it wasn't for the fact that it's useless. But I can get a I can get a working axe, doing all this. So it's sh I'm not like stuck or anything. So that's good. Need a lot of lot of lot of lot of stuff. Boop. All right. So let's see. One, two, three. I want to go a little bit farther out. I'm gonna find out the hard way that shift or. Walking while shifting doesn't help when you're one, you're half a block lower. Oh, that would be terrible. That would be absolutely terrible. That would probably screw me over. One, two, three, four, five. This should be far enough over. Put my new dirt block down. And then build around that. Yeah. Another thing I've been thinking about doing, haven't decided if I'm going to even try or not. I probably will. But uh, there is a Vive version of Minecraft. And assuming it works with uh, version 1.7.10, I want to install it and use it on the server. Damn it. Oh, I caught those. Nice. All right, so oak sapling there, oak sapling there. Where is center? You are center. I'm curious if I can do this. Yes, I can hit both trees simultaneously. <laughs> Apparently it works far enough away. Uh, they are not touching. All right, so what you do with the silkworm is you put it in a uh, leaves, in leaves, and they become infested leaves. And then you wait. Because that's mostly what this game is. Or what this. I don't know. Can we call it game? No. The, um, style of play maybe. Is all about. Is primarily waiting. And. Yeah. Basically what I'm going to do. Is wait until this spreads to the other tree. And I guess twiddle my thumbs until I get there. Hmm. Is there anything else I can do? I'm out of dirt. 
I don't have enough for another one. Oh, I might have enough for another one. Oh, but I don't... No, I don't want to risk it. I might have enough for another one if I just... Or if I use all of it, nah. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to hold off. Unless I get another sapling here. Eh, close enough. Okay, nowhere near close. But, uh, yeah, close enough, I should say. Alright, so the infested leaves turned white when they were finished. And they very slowly turn white as they progress. It's interesting. And then you hit them with the crook. And you get string. Yeah, yeah. I could start building things that require string. Boop, boop. And I'm going to need a lot of it, actually, if I want to do what I plan on doing. I need, I believe, 18. I have 14 now. Boop. Let's see, you're infested. 16. Hmm. Infested. Just got to find all the infested leaves. Maybe I have to wait a little bit longer. Oh, no. Eh. All right. One more. One more. Come on. One more. Are you guys infested? Yes, you are. There we go. 18 string. Because I need to make two of the silk mesh. Need to get me some wood. Boop. Boop. Because I can make... Something that just occurred to me is kind of useless at this very moment. An oak sieve. Oh, and I got six freaking silkworms, so I can go nuts doing this later. And we know the sieves because of the Glitchcraft server and what I was doing with all of them. You can have some serious fun. I'm also about 99% sure that when I do this, it's going to be utter... It's, yeah. I don't think the leaves naturally drop anything. Yeah, if they just dissolve like that, you have to hit them with the crook. Or you won't get string or anything like that. Boop. And string can be useful for other things, so may as well grab a bunch of it while I'm here. Boop. Grab a handful that don't have to worry about it later. All right, so I've got two oak saplings down. Let's see if this fills my barrel. Oh, it does. So you need eight saplings to fill a barrel. we got to wait till it composts, so... You're taking your sweet time to grow. Come on. There you go. I'm also worried about what's going to happen when I get big trees. I really don't want to waste my time chopping them down. Should probably take care of that, like, now, so I don't have to worry about that. And then this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing for the next little while. Let's see, what's our next step? What's the next thing that I need to do? I need a buttload of dirt. So I need a buttload of saplings. Anything else? I'm trying to think, what is our next task? Our next task is pretty much to get a buttload of dirt and then a buttload of saplings. Or a buttload of saplings and a buttload of dirt, so I can push them through the sieve and get a buttload of, or uh, and get some cobblestone, which will give me a lot of other stuff. <laughs> yeah, so let's let's just 
Let's just get some dirt real quick. Let's start there. Well, there it is. There's my big ass tree. Not happy about that. Should have done something about that. Should have listened to my own warning. Hmm. So it occurred to me why I wasn't losing any hunger. The game was set to peaceful mode. Oh, again, outside noises. I don't even know what that noise was. I'm like, wait, why does it sound like it's raining? It's not raining, something outside. Okay, anyways, uh, yes, the game was set to peaceful mode. Now, that's, again, not that big of a problem. I seem to be doing pretty good getting apples. Um, there are... Mobs are not going to spawn on this little platform here, so that's not that shouldn't be a problem. Um, so, yeah, I got me three dirt, which is what I need. And you know what? Just for safety's sake, because I got a fourth dirt and it kind of fell over the edge. Oops. It, it fell out the back of the sieve and fell fell off the edge so let's 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 expand this out a little bit so i don't risk losing stuff again which is probably going to happen knowing me oh well all right there we go all right so let's throw this dirt through the sieve and hopefully we can get enough to do what i need to do it gave me three little stone and that gives me eight little stone. Ooh, we get two. So these little stones turn into cobblestone. And then we take some wood and some sticks. And we turn it into an X Nilo hammer. Put down the cobblestone, smack it a couple of times with the hammer. We get gravel. Oh, and it occurs to me that I kind of need three gravel. Hmm. I somehow doubt that I'm going to get enough with this hunk of dirt. Yeah, I got three stone. Ugh. Well, just have to refill that real quick. Got plenty of saplings. That is one good thing about tall trees is that they give it a lot of saplings. Um, so basically what I did there is that I pillared up seven blocks and then put down a slab and then chopped down all the blocks. That way that that way the saplings can't grow into big honking oak trees that take forever to chop down. Uh, 58. Let's grow some trees real quick. All right. I do that a lot. I'm sure I'm going to be doing that a whole bunch. Well, at least until I can automate the process. And once I can automate the process, then, well, free game. All right, so this should give me the stone I need. Yep, I got six stone. Gives me the last cobblestone. Which gives me the last gravel that I need. Let's put that stuff away for now. Now for the fun part. Need that. This. Gonna need... Yeah, bunch of blank patterns. So we can start making the Tinker's Construct stuff. Since Tinker's Construct is kind of a requirement to uh yeah to do pretty much anything in this in this mod pack you kind of need tinker's construct so you can like make stuff um my brain i'm trying to focus i'm trying to practice talking about one thing while doing another thing and it's not working out all that well all right so uh let's see part builder then this thing then this thing, stencil table, part builder, pattern chest, tool station. All right. Stencil table, part builder, pattern chest, tool station. Okay. Uh, boop. I need an axe head, and I need a 
tool rod. I need my gravel, which we can turn into a single flint. Because if you break gravel, you don't get flint in this mod pack. You just don't. So axe head to flint gets me the flint axe head. Tool rod with a hunk of wood gets me a wooden tool rod and a stick. Throw those in there. Then this gets me my flint hatchet. Put these in there because I don't need them. Put everything else in there. And then start going to town. Now, one, there is one advantage to having uh, iguana tweaks or whatever the mod the mod's called, tinkers tweaks. I I fucking don't remember. Uh, but there's one advantage to having this is that it will level up. So the flinch ha flint hatchet will level up with the possibility that I can get repair on it. There we go. And if I can get repair on it, then I don't have to manually repair it. I don't have to go through that entire process again just to get enough, uh, you know, gravel to make flint and so on and so forth. Because, I mean, it took, it took four dirt to create three gravel to create, th or... Four dirt to create three cobblestone to create three flint. Ugh. Let's try this one more time. Let's see if I can actually say that. Four dirt to create three cobblestone to create three gravel to create one flint to create one pickaxe or one axe. Oy. Hopefully, this will work out better. And this is where my current experience with this particular task ends. I have no idea what goes from here. I figured once I got the axe, once I knew I could get an axe, and thus with effort tools, I should be able to do pretty much everything from this point on. It's going to take a little bit of improvisation, and a lot of work, and a lot of tedious crouching endlessly to grow trees. But I should be able to do it. And I think I'm going to end the episode here. And next episode is going to be a learning experience for all of us. Because, yeah, okay, I'm basically doing the same exact thing in the Glitchcraft server. But the Glitchcraft server, I could go mining for stuff, so I could get copper ore and tin ore and such. This is going to be different. We're going to have to be doing some improvising. And starting completely from scratch. Which ought to be interesting. Wait, did I have eight? Apparently, I thought I had... Eh, whatever. Alright, so I'm going to end the episode here. And I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun. And hopefully your sticky keys are disabled.